and is located at East Alpine country in so the southern part of breaking, Central Europe. The country covers an area of 83,871 kilometers square. Your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking, ma'am. Your voice is breaking. Ma'am, your voice is breaking. I'll do that. So, I apologize for the inconvenience guests. So, let's start with today's uh, presentation. Uh, we'll be taking you to the destination Austria. So, uh, let's get a brief introduction about uh, where the country is. So, Australia, officially the Republic of uh, Austria is landlocked East Alpine country in the southern part of Central Europe. The country covers an area of 83,871 kilometers square. The country is mostly dominated in the west and south by mountains, the Alps. Austria's highest point is Grosslanger mountain with a height of 3,798 meters, which is around 12,460 feet. So these are the uh, states of the uh, uh, country. So the, the first one is Tyrol, Vorarlberg, Kartnen, Salberg, Oberosterich, Nilderos, Aterich, Eisendart, Bergenland, and uh, Stermark. I think I haven't missed anyone. So the next one is, let's talk about the uh, national flag of Austria. So Austrian flag is a rectangular tri-band flag with colors red and white. The three equal horizontal bands are arranged with red at the top and bottom with a white band in the middle. The red color of the flag is associated with love, open-mindedness, war and supremacy, hence signifying strength and bravery. Now let's know about the country's history because that, uh, it tells that how dignified the country is. The country of, uh, the history of Austria covers the history of Austria and its predecessor states from the early stone age to the present state. The name Austria, Austria has been in use since 1996 AD when it was a margravate of the Duchy of Bavaria and from 1156 an independent Ma'am, you're stuck. You froze, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't hear your voice and you are frozen. Ma'am, I can't hear you. Ma'am, your ma voice is also stuck. You are frozen. Ma'am, you froze. Yes, yes, yes. You there froze. is some technical glitch. Yes, yes. She, she will join. So the country's history says that it was the originally named as Austerachi, which has been used since 1996 AD, when it was a margravate of the Duchy of Bavaria from 1156 and independent Duchy of the Holy Roman Empire of the German nation. Initially, Austria was dominated by the House of Habsburg and House of Habsburg Lorraine from 1273 to 1918. In 1806, when Emperor Frankis II of Austria dissolved the Holy Roman Empire, Austria became the Austrian Empire and was also the part of German Confederation until the Austro-Prussian War of 1866. In 1867, Austria formed a dual monarchy with Hungary, the Austro-Hungarian Empire. When this empire collapsed after the end of the World War I in 1918, Austria was reduced to the main, mostly German-speaking areas of the empire and adopted the name the Republic of German Austria. 
However, union with Germany and the chosen country name were forbidden by the allies of the Treaty of Versailles. This led to the creation of the first Austrian Republic in the year 1919 to 1933. Yeah, so now next. So following the first Republic, it, the Austria kept independent from the German reach. Angel was the first accepted that the most Austrians were German and Austrians but wanted Austria to remain independent from Germany. So in 1938, Austrian vote Adolf Hitler. So I hope you all might have been familiar with this name, Adolf Hitler. He annexed Austria to the German reach with the Angels, which was supported by the large majority of Austrian people. So 10 years after the Second World War, Austria again became an independent republic as the Second Austrian Republic in 1945. Then Austria joined the European Union in 1995. So since then, the Austria was an independent country. Next one. Okay, so let's have a quick overview of the country. So you all know the capital of the country, that is Vienna. Next one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it is also the biggest city in Austria. So who will tell me the land or area of the Vienna? How big is this city? What is the land area? Man plain. Okay, so Vienna has a land area of 414.6 kilometer square. So can you imagine how big it is? Man, can you... Okay, so you know... Okay, so talking about the language of the country, as the country has the origin from German, so the language also spoken here is German. And the population in this country is 8.86 million. So it's very important to know about the government of any country. And now we will have a quick look on the government of the country. The government of Austria is the executive cabinet of the Republic of Austria. It is composed of the chancellor, who is the head of the government, the vice chancellor, and the minister. The same way India has the president and the prime minister. So similarly, this country, Austria, has the chancellor who leads it and the vice chancellor and the other ministers. Okay, so anybody know who is the chancellor of the country? So it's written, you can see, it's, it's Sebastian Kors. Okay. So now you all know about the chancellor of the country, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So you all know the currency. What is the currency of the country? Euro. 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 Yes. Euro. Yes. yes. So you can see Euro. the image of the currency. Now proceeding towards the sport of the country. So here usually three different kinds of sports are very famous. The first one is association football. So this is same as the soccer. The second type sport type is alpine skying or downhill skying. And the third type of sport is ice hockey. Now, Talking about the climate of the country, the climate of Austria can be classified as a warm, tempered, humid climate with the warmest month lower than 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius over average and four of months above the 50 over average. 
and talking about the mountainous region the climate over there can be classified as a humid snow climate with the warmest months between 50 and 72 degrees fahrenheit next okay excuse me ma'am yes uh, there are four seasons Austria, winter, rainy, autumn, and spring. Yes, definitely. Just like India, Austria also has four different seasons. Which is like, if I talk about the spring, it stays from March to May, right? And the summer just stay like from June to August, just like in India. And autumn stays from September to November. And the winter stays December to February, right? Ma'am, it snows in Australia. Okay, so now we will talk about the wildlife of the country. So, do you know any of the animal of this place? Any guess? Ma'am, deers. Yes. Bears yes. and owls. Yes. And bald eagles. Eagles. Bears. Eagles. Yes, yes, absolutely. So there, there is a predominantly Okay, guys, please mute your mics. Okay, good response. Rabbit. Yes. So there is a predominantly Central European fauna in Austria, with species that? that include deer, stag, rabbit, pheasant, fox, badger, marten. Okay. Okay. So feast your eyes on Austria. So anybody have heard about the Austrian food? Like what do they eat? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. Austrian food is actually very distinctive and it is delicious, right? And the traditional food of the country we can say is meat and a variety of dumplings. Here we can see a variety of meals on the table, right? So these are literally mouth watering. So talking about the traditional food of the country or the national dish, Tafel's pizza is generally considered to be the national dish of Austria. It is actually a boiled beef broth, which is served with root vegetables, spices, and minced apple. The another dish of the country is known as the nordel. These are a kind of dumpling which can be either named sweet or savory to taste. Okay, next. Okay, so that was all the overview of the country. So now I will be taking you to the real Austria, right? So we will be playing a video here. So all of you, just grab your hot drinks or popcorn, whatever you have with you, and enjoy this beautiful video. Ma'am, I don't have popcorn. Okay, that's okay. So just enjoy this video, okay? Ma'am, I'm taking my cake, my father. Lisa, well, that's good to know. And I, I request all guests to keep your mics mute so that you can enjoy this video, okay? Yes, ma'am. Just keep your mics muted. Ma'am, your screen is not showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just playing the video right away. Just hold for a while. Ma'am. Oh. 
uh, 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 that concept of wildlife uh, i didn't hear because my uh, ha uh, network issue headphone in headphone it was not audible can we repeat that welcome back folks to a brand new video with stunning mountainous peaks and crystal clear lakes, Austria fulfills everything you need on a holiday. But with so many choices and so little time for you first timers, here's a short list of beautiful places to visit in Austria. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Salzburg. Salzburg is definitely the place for music fans. It's home to Mozart. For 70% of overseas visitors, it's the sound of music that remains the primary reason for travel to the city. The city is full of galleries museums, a rich array of restaurants and a diverse selection of shopping opportunities such as farmers markets to upmarket stores. But apart from the music tours, go for a wonderful Mozart dinner concert at the Baroque Hall of St. Peter's Abbey in Salzburg. shows that make it such a dynamic city. But this modern flavour doesn't take anything away from the tradition that still resides right here. Visit the world famous Schönbrunn Palace or experience the wonderful views at 25 hours hotel Wunderbar. And I do believe the Anas is best during the winter months. Yeah, and I Don't forget the 25 hours hotel Wunderbar. Countryside holidays offers so many possibilities for excursions, mountain adventures, and enjoyable family vacations in landscapes ranging from the mild to the wild. The area also offers museums, monuments, and family activities. It's a very captivating region. beautiful landscapes across Zelamzi and its neighboring Capron. You can dive into the gorgeous lake and cycle around its picturesque, barbed shores. Hiking and skiing 
in the mountains is also available. But if you rent a car, you can drive up higher on the bush along the road. Skis and snowboards in winter, or hiking and mountain biking in summer. It has it all. city and home to one of the best preserved historic centers in Europe. There is a vibrant art center in the city which fits in very well with its renaissance courtyards and baroque palaces. And thanks to a large student populace, roughly around 50,000, the nightlife in Graz is booming. Now this is my type of city break. The vibrant city if you're looking for somewhere more relaxing, try visiting the Schloss Edinburgh Palace Gardens for that tranquil and peaceful time. Number six, more Alberg. This whole region, made up entirely of mountains, which is easily one of the best places to visit in Austria. The mountains of Moravia present a unique and artistic view for any hiker, explorer, or artist. The landscapes between Lake Constance and the mountains are perfect for long walks, especially with the mountains reaching up to 2,000 meters. Hands are the Bregenz Festival of the beautiful Lake Constance. And what is the most wonderful walk is how Moravia or Moravia urges you to slow your pace, to engage your senses and of course, enjoy the moments. Number seven. G, G, Munden, Gmunden, Munden, G, Gmunden. A small town between Vienna and Salzburg within the South Scaligut region. This region is full of small towns by lakes and mountains. One of the reasons why to visit is because of its location on Lake Tromsey. With its yacht marina, lakeside square and promenades, a pretty historic London has a Riviera feel. It's mainly a weekend escape for locals and the best thing to do is walk or bike around the area. Don't forget, it's only a 20 minute walk to the magnificent Schlossort Castle, which is situated at Lakeside, so don't miss that. Number eight, Man stuck. So, did you all enjoy it? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Great. Yes, ma'am. Ma so now I will be taking this presentation further. Ma'am? Hello, Maitra. Ma'am, 
Austrian flag is the oldest national flag in the world. Okay, so now we will be talking about the airline in the Austria of Austria. So can anybody guess the name of this airlines of the Austria? Okay, so tell me the national airlines of India. What is the national airlines of India? Air India. 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 Okay. So, the Austrian Airlines is the national flag carrier of the country. Austrian Airlines AG, sometimes shortened to Austrian, is the flag carrier of the Austria and the subsidiary of the Danza Group. The airline is headquartered on the grounds of Vienna International Airport in Schleswig, where it also maintains its hub. As of July 2016, the airline flew to six domestic and more than 120 international year-round and seasonal destination in 55 countries, and is a member of the Star Alliance. The Austrian Airlines fleet currently consists of 83 aircraft, were divided into the long-haul fleet. And the short and the medium haul fleet. So now that we can see a little image of aircraft. So the airline carries aircraft of Airbus. And there are a big, the small airplanes, ma'am. There, folk bar. Okay, so now we will be talking about the awards and the achievements of this airlines, right? So Austrian Airlines was once again like it was awarded second time and given a top ranking in the renowned Skytrax World Airlines Award 2019. Austria's national career won the world title in the category Best Premium Economy Class Onboard Catering. Austrian Airlines improved its overall ranking and moved up to the place to 15th position. Okay, so now we will have a closer look to this airline. future. New times bring new challenges. People and the world change. A brand needs to change with them. Many small changes to prepare a brand carefully for the digital age. While staying true to what makes us, us. Austrianness. Nothing less than a symbol for quality of life. Our goal, making the brand more relevant for our customers. At every step of their way. Small changes with a lot of effect. The same Austrian. Just better. Austrian, the 
disarming way to fly. Okay, so how did you like the video? So I hope you all yes, enjoyed Yes, ma'am. It was amazing. Okay, so I feel great. really good. It was great. And I hope you have all enjoyed the tour to the Austria and you have grabbed up a lot of knowledge about the country. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Okay, so somebody was asking about the wildlife of the place, right? May I know who is that? Okay, so everything. Is it out, ma'am? Yes. They are uh, locking the when night happened means we will lock the doors, no, ma'am. That was in Austria. They are made with sand, ma'am. Yeah.